Well, hello, hello, hello. It is Dr. Brandy. Dr. Brandy B, come on in, come on in, grab a friend and come on in. I'm not driving today. I'm not driving. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. We've got Attorney Fred over here driving me. Um, and I am going to be brick today. I know I always say that, but I really am because I'm actually working today and seeing patients, and so I will need to get back. But come on in. I don't see anybody here, but I know that you're out there waiting, so come on in. It's time for Focus on It Friday. There we go. We've got Miss Angelica Langford in the building. Hello. There are two people watching. Come on in, everyone. Come on in. We are talking about falling into improved mental health because they told me, guys, that it was the first day of fall this week, this week, one day, I think it was uh, Tuesday, maybe Tuesday, Tuesday, I think Tuesday was the first day of fall, and I just love saying it's fall, y'all, because that just sounds like such a southern thing to say, and you all know I am such a southern girl. We've got Miss Angelica saying hello, Dr. B, and I say hello to you, Miss Stephanie Perry is watching, Doris Bradley Cox says good afternoon, good afternoon, to you as well. Like I said, I've got to get back to work. I'm seeing patients today. That is something I don't normally do, guys, but we do whatever we have to do to make sure that the babies are taken care of. We've got Miss Michelle Combs Mitchell watching. Thank you for joining us. And Miss Chantrice Perry is watching us all the way from Huntsville, Alabama. Welcome, Cousin Chantrice. Uh, Miss Michelle says, how are you doing? And you know what? Today is a good day. I'm doing pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. It's always exciting when people ask me how I am doing. We've got Miss Amanda Page. She says, good evening, Dr. Brandy B. And I say, hello to you. Who else is watching? Miss Stephanie is waving, and we appreciate you for your wave. It's such a pleasure to be waved at and to also be able to wave back. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I am Dr. Brandy B., your triple board certified pediatrician, adult psychiatrist, and child and adolescent psychiatrist. And through my Facebook live stream, Focus on It Friday, which is right here where you are, I help worried moms, dads, teachers, educators, and, honey, even other doctors get the education that they need so that their students, teachers, patients, babies, husbands, whoever that is, can be successful in the classroom and in life. We've got Miss Laletta. Smith is watching. Hey, girl. And we've got Miss Lindsay Raspberry Beasley. She says, good afternoon. Hope you're having a great day. I really am. Thank you so much for asking. Who is that? Miss Cortese says, hello. And I'm waving back at you, Miss Cortese Mc, uh, McWilliams Garrett. Thank you all so much for watching. We're going to have a short one today. I promise it's going to be super short because I've got to get back to work, going out to make a run. I was at my alma mater, my high school, this week. Some of those students said that they wanted a copy of Shine, and you know what I'm going to do? I came home, I'm signing, I signed them, and I'm taking these babies a copy of Shine, Understanding ADHD, so your child can be a star. So I'm on my way to do that. Don't worry, I'm not holding up books, talking to you, and driving all at the same time. Everybody is safe in the vehicle. Okay, so let's talk about it. We're going to talk about today falling. Hello, Miss Luella. Hello, welcome. We are going to talk about falling into improved mental health. Because it's fall, y'all. I said it again. I'm going to just say it as many times as I can get it in. we got to fall into mental health. And y'all know I love acronyms, so we're going to do an acronym today. And what's it going to be? It's going to be fall. Now, the F is to focus on you. Focus on you. And when I say you, I really mean you, your child, your husband, whoever. But I really want you to understand that at this time in your life, we're falling ahead, right? Um, and I want you all to focus on yourself, focus on yourself. So often we get caught up in focusing on other people, focusing on other people's children, focusing on our students, focusing on our patients, focusing on our students, that we forget to focus on ourselves. And I want to be the first one to tell you that in this season of fall, it is okay to focus on yourself. What does that mean? Pay attention to what's going on with you. If you all remember and you've been watching the show for a while, you know that this time last year I was either right in the hospital or had just got out of the hospital. Why? Because I wasn't focusing on myself. I was trying to, you know, do some things with my business, um, and I just ignored the fact that I was short of breath coming downstairs. That, that makes 
make any sense. Maybe I should be short of breath going upstairs because I had been diagnosed with asthma the year before. But coming downstairs, I shouldn't have been. And so I ended up very anemic, very anemic, and passing out at the Panera. And it woke up with my head on the toilet. I was disgusted and scared all at the same time. So I ended up in the hospital because I was not focusing on myself. So this year, I'm making sure that that doesn't happen again, and I'm encouraging you to make sure that you take this time of fall, this time of fall, to focus on yourself. That's your F, focus on yourself. If you need to be focusing on your children during this season, make sure that you're doing that. It's still early in the school year. There's no reason why you cannot focus on your children to make sure they get this good foundation so that as the school year goes ahead, a girl just fell off a scooter. I'm glad she didn't kill herself, but um, she did fall. Uh, I'm glad she didn't hurt herself. Uh, but focus on yourself. Focus on your family. Um, but don't forget to focus on yourself. As mom, we forget to do that, and that is such an important thing for us to do. Now, the A in fall. We're falling into improved mental health. The A is going to be acquire knowledge about your health. Acquire acquire knowledge about your health. What do I mean by that? That is why you're here, because you are seeking. <laughs> Miss Wells is falling. Girl, I'm going to Ramsey, honey. She's on one of these hills on a little, a little scoot along. You know, you put one foot on and then you scoot. I guess that's called a scooter. Child, she was not paying attention. hit the curb, and I'm just glad we didn't hit her. But anywho. The A is for acquired knowledge about whatever your illness is. If your child has ADHD, go ahead and make sure that you are acquiring knowledge about ADHD. If your older child has been diagnosed with bipolar disorder, go ahead and make sure that you're acquiring knowledge about that. If you've been diagnosed with diabetes or your child, make sure that you know all that there is to know about diabetes. We can only, as my sister-in-law Erica would say, we can't heal what we won't reveal. We can't heal what we don't know anything about. We certainly can't heal anything that we're in denial of. So we've got to make sure that we are acquiring knowledge. And guess what, folks? I'm not the only person out there that's giving away knowledge. There is information that's everywhere. Now, you do have to vet some of this information and make sure that it is on the up and up, not quackery or anything. But once you feel secure in uh, who it is that you're listening to and getting, getting your advice from, make sure that you go ahead and follow the advice um, to make sure that you and your children and your family are doing better. Now, that's your A. So we're going to focus on yourself or your child, right, because some of this might be for your child. You're going to acquire knowledge about any health issues, mental or physical. And then your first L is that you're going to lose any care for others' opinions. So I had a mom yesterday. Her child was doing magnificent on medicine. And she says that her professor, because the mom is in school, the professor, the mom's professor told her that if she were her, she would treat the child's ADHD because that is that child's superpower. And I said, say what? I told my goodness. So this mama isn't to torturing her kids? Is that what it sounds like? Because that's what it sounded like to me. Now, I don't know what the lady meant, but what I heard was womp, 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 I like to torture my kids. You are not wrong, mom, dad, or whomever, if you're treating your child's illness. We wouldn't withhold insulin. We wouldn't withhold glasses. If they had a leg to fall off, we wouldn't withhold whatever the surgeon said. Girl, yes, what? What? That was what I was like. Why is your child? First of all, why does your professor know if you know that this professor is not, you know, interested in the good of your child? And second of all, why in the world would the professor say that? I said, give that baby a cookie because they have superpowers, but why would we make them suffer? That would be like me saying, uh, you know, yeah, uh, these some of these mamas, you know these mamas in your mama group. They say, I was in labor for 422 hours, and I didn't take not a single pain me. And I'm like, honey, I got three C-sections of epidurals each time, and my kids are still cute and smart. Ain't nobody going to tell me I'm less of a mother, and nobody's going to tell me that my kids are less human because we took the easy way out. Yeah, with my abdomen spliced open, not being able to hold one kid if I had a toddler. Get out of here. So we've got to learn to lose any care about what other people are talking about, especially if those people do not know your situation. So the next time somebody says to you, if I were you, just stop it right there and say, well, you're not. And so whatever it is that you're about to say is irrelevant. It's irrelevant. Because
because they're not you. And the truth of the matter is, nine times out of ten, that's why in my personal life, when my friend said, well, girl, what would you do? And I said, well, girl, I don't know what I would do. I've never had a man to beat me up. I imagine what I would do if he did, but I I don't know. So I can't tell you, girl, I would leave him. And you ain't got no job. You got to plan that thing out. You can't just wake up and leave him. Now, you, you should, and you probably ought to, you know, be working towards it. But, um, but, but you know, and especially what I know, about the fact that most women end up getting killed when they're leaving. Like, I just can't be reckless and say, well, girl, if I was you, I I can help her plan it if that's what she wants to do, and I can support her the best way. But if I were you, you, but you're not me, right? So we've got to make that correspond to caring for ourselves. If I were you, I wouldn't be going to that stranger telling them all of my secrets. Well, you're not me. And instead of telling a stranger all your secrets, you're calling your best friend and telling her, and guess what she's doing? Telling everybody else. So now the stranger who is bound to not tell your secrets and can actually help you work through them, instead of telling her or him, you told your very best friend who's always been jealous of you, never wanted you to have a good man, a good car, a good job, and the money that you have. She is now laughing and telling everybody that you know. So they all laughing and looking at you and pointing. I think there's a song about that, the whole world laughing at you or something like that. Okay, this is just, I'm just, we're falling into a better mental health. And so if you need a therapist, you need to make sure that you get one. If you need some mental health attention, make sure you get it. And then lastly, because I said it was going to be quick today, the people going to come on and say, we missed it, girl, you missed it. But rewind and watch it again from the beginning. You can watch it two or three times in the amount of time we have our normal shows. The last one is to love on you every day. So there's this buzz that about self-care, self-care, self-care is not selfish, and I believe it is not. You absolutely have to do it. But you have to be intentional in loving on you and doing it every day, loving on you and doing it every day. What does loving you look like? I cannot answer that for you because the way that I love me is different from the way that you love you, right? And so um, it may be those few extra moments. A lot of my mom friends say that those moments where they park in the garage or park in the driveway, one girl said her children, she realized her children knew when she was in the driveway because they could see it on the camera. So she started going one street over and just sitting there um, until, you know, she got her moment together. Because you got to imagine, if you leave home, you go to work, you're listening to people's problems, you're filling people's orders, you uh doing whatever it is that you do at your job, and then you come right back home to being mommy, being wife, being husband, being grandma, being granddad, whatever. You need some time for you. And so you need to make sure that every day you love on you a little bit. Loving on you does not require money, right? So if you got in your mind, well, I can't go get a manicure and a pedicure, or I can't uh, get a massage, give yourself a massage. Close your eyes in that tub and just imagine that it is the biggest whirlpool sauna or whatever else that you get that water as hot as you need it to be, but not if you have an eczema, honey, because that's going to aggravate that. We don't want that to happen. But make sure you're taking some time for you. Spend the extra five minutes in the car. One of my sister-in-law's, honey, she falls asleep in the car. Now, I don't recommend that because, you know, you might need to be alert and awake to know what's going on. But make sure that you're taking that time to love on you. So in this period of fall, it's fall, y'all. Um, we are talking about falling into uh, improved, better mental health, all right? And so we want you to focus on yourself or your child. We want you to acquire knowledge about whatever it is that you all are facing, depression, anxiety, ADHD, whatever. We want you to lose care for others' opinions, and then we want you to love um, love on yourself every day. Love on yourself every day. All right, so that's all I have for you all today. I want you all to have a great day, um, a great weekend. Be safe. Enjoy some football or whatever it is that you enjoy. And we will see you all right here next week on Friday. Y'all have a good day, and we'll see you soon. Bye.